Bitcoin isn't just a currency, it's an idea. Let's uncover the spark that started it all. In 2009, Bitcoin emerged as a revolutionary concept introduced by the mysterious Satoshi Nakamoto. It wasn't just a new currency, it was a response to a broken system. In the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis, people lost faith in traditional banks and government-controlled money. Bitcoin promised something different, a decentralized, transparent, and borderless digital currency. Unlike fiat currencies, which are printed at will by central banks, Bitcoin has a hard limit. Only 21 million coins will ever exist. This scarcity creates a new kind of digital asset, one that cannot be manipulated by governments or financial institutions. It's money owned and controlled by the people, a radical departure from the systems we've known for centuries. But how does Bitcoin work? Transactions are validated and recorded on a public ledger called the blockchain. This ledger is maintained by a global network of computers, eliminating the need for intermediaries like banks. Every transaction is secure, transparent, and irreversible, a stark contrast to the traditional financial system, where errors and fraud can easily occur. Bitcoin's potential is enormous. It offers financial inclusion to millions of people without access to banks and makes cross-border transactions fast and affordable. Yet, it's not without controversy. Critics argue that its price volatility, lack of regulation, and energy consumption pose significant risks. For some, Bitcoin is the future of money. For others, it's a speculative bubble waiting to burst. Regardless of where you stand, one thing is clear. Bitcoin has already changed the way we think about money and finance. Bitcoin started as an idea. Today, it's a movement. The question is, where will it take us next?